Well, for me, to be a Unitarian in Australia today means that I'm a member of a small group of perhaps 500 people in Australia who go to either Unitarian fellowships or a Unitarian church. For me, that means that I have a community in which I can explore my own spiritual pathway without any constraints of a dogma or a creed. Okay, um, a shrinking world does not threaten a Unitarian because Unitarians by their nature have a very open um, approach to their spirituality and it is really wonderful to be able to, through technology, find out more about other people's faith. Intrinsically, um, within our own Unitarian group, we believe that most religions have an aspect of the truth, but perhaps there is not any one religion that has the whole truth uniquely to them. So as the world shrinks and means of communication by technology becomes more available, it is wonderful to explore other faiths, other dynamics, other ways of approach, approaching our spirituality that we can then incorporate in the way that we think. Well, I think the basic uh, seven commandments that are in the Bible are in some form or other incorporated in most religions. Truthfulness, morality, caring for others, those concepts are in Unitarian faith as they are in most other faiths. I think what confuses other people when they think about Unitarians, because we have no creed and no doctrine to which we must adhere, they cannot understand how we can exist in our faith without the tram lines of belief and operation within the church. Um, we have within our Unitarian church uh, lapsed Catholics, lapsed Jews, Lutherans, people from Protestant uh, affiliations. We also have some atheists and some agnostics and we welcome them all because each person has their own philosophy on how, how they came to be and how the world came to be as it is today and we can learn from everyone. I think it's mutual understanding. Uh, we've always talked within our Unitarian group about having tolerance but tolerance is a word that almost indicates forbearance. I would rather replace that with acceptance. And I think if you look at the way other people express their faiths, there is something to learn from everyone. And I think if everyone left this conference in Melbourne with a little more understanding of why a person's spirituality is important to them and applied the less message of love to every group, every spiritual group, and look at the goodness that everyone has instead of looking at the differences. I think we'd all be better within our own religious concepts.